Welcome to Fame Academy's online learning channel. Uh, we're so glad you found us online. Um, we are uh, based in Portland, Oregon, and we're an arts community and nonprofit uh, that serves adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities. Thanks for joining us. Uh, this short tutorial series is going to be covering uh, GarageBand and um, how to use it as a musical instrument and how to use it as a composing tool. So what you'll need for this tutorial is an iPad and uh, GarageBand installed. And feel free to go at your own pace. Um, you can pause, rewind, repeat sections as needed. And each of these small tutorials will cover um, one small element of GarageBand. So today we're gonna start with tutorial one on um, how to navigate uh, the instruments of GarageBand, how to select different sounds, and instruments. So I've opened GarageBand and the first thing I'm going to do is create a new song or project. So I'm going to hit create song and that takes me to my instrument window. So you'll notice that the very top of the screen says live loops and then it says tracks. Currently I'm on track mode which is the mode where I can select different types of instruments. Drums, if I swipe, there's some keyboard options. Uh, your audio recorder, you can record your voice directly into your iPad, which can work pretty well. Um, I do recommend having an external USB microphone to make full use of this, but you can just click voice. So here's the voice app. You can see to the left, the voice meter going up and down as I talk because it's detecting my voice. That's how you can tell it's detecting. So you can change the controls and the tone and the pitch all in these middle dials here. And that's how you can record your voice in GarageBand. So you'll notice this little microphone icon in the top left of the screen. And just below that, there's a plus sign. That's how you add different instruments to your song as you're building uh, tracks or a song in GarageBand. So I'm gonna click that plus sign now, and then I'm back, you notice, to my instrument selection screen for all my sounds and different instruments. So I'm gonna keep scrolling, and we'll check out some more options. Uh, one thing you'll notice on some of these um, sounds is at the bottom of the screen, you can select notes, scales, smart strings, and even more sounds. So you can change the style of your orchestra from cinematic to modern, pop, romantic, and each of these little string packs sounds slightly different. So cinematic tells me that if I want a movie sound, like a John Williams score for like Star Wars or Harry Potter movies, maybe cinematic sound will um, sound something like that. So I'm gonna leave that on cinematic for now, but you can play around with those sounds and pick the best ones that uh, fit you. Uh, so I'm gonna do the smart strings option. So I'm not gonna do the notes or the scales right now. I'm gonna to go to smart strings. And so you'll notice this layout here, and this, this will be the same for a lot of these smart keyboard options too. Smart strings, smart keyboard, smart guitar. They all have a similar layout in GarageBand. Uh, and these are chord strips down here. So E minor, A minor, and so on, all the way through all these different chords. So as you tap, you get this plucking sound. And as you hold down and press and swipe up and down, there's my F chord, sustained. Doing some long chords. Swipe faster, it gets louder. If you swipe very slowly up and down, it's soft. So you have some control over loud and soft or dynamics by how fast you swipe up and down on this F chord. 
Same thing for any other chord. Um, so let's move on. Uh, let's add, go back to our plus symbol in the top left, just below where I, you see the microphone in the top left. Then underneath that, you see the string instruments and then that plus symbol on the left-hand side up here. I'm just gonna click that again. And then we see bases. Just to show you, smart bass, we're gonna click on that. Somewhat similar layout. You see these chord symbols on the bottom, E minor, A minor, G, C, F, uh, all these chord symbols. Um, what's a little different, you'll notice you see these strings. So I'm gonna click on the C, the top string, and I hold it, or I just touch it for a light little pluck. And then I'm gonna go to second string down on my C, then the third, then the last one. So now let's go back up. Now you can see my instrument list is looking pretty full up here. I don't, the plus sign disappeared. Now I have to hold and scroll up with my finger. I can scroll back and forth to reveal that plus sign up there to add another track. So I have to touch kind of where the bass is and then move my finger up. And there's the plus sign again, which lets me add yet another track. So we go into Smart Guitar and we see the similar chord layout. But now instead of clicking the strings like that, you can just hit the letter up top, C, gives you the full chord, G, or G strings individually. You can also swipe your hand down or up to strum all the strings, just like a guitar. So what I did just then was I went to the lowest string down here, and I just swiped my finger upwards. You can do the same thing starting at the top. That note on the G and then swipe down. And then again, you can just press the letter. Like if we go over to F, I'm tapping the letter instead of the strings and that gives me the full chord right away. All right, so that's guitar, basically. Um, you can also select one thing, one other thing I should say before I leave guitar. And this is like this for most instruments. Um, just below the plus sign to the left, see where it says acoustic and it shows the little picture of the guitar? It's just underneath the plus sign on the left. I'm gonna hit that. Now I see different choices of different guitar sounds. So let's say I wanted a hard rock guitar. I click that. It's gonna give me a different layout. And I'm gonna go back on my chords and notes. I'm gonna go back to chords. And let's hear a guitar, electric guitar chord. There we go. All right. So that's a, a hard rock guitar. And most of the instruments like we've been exploring, bass, electric guitar, uh, drums, keyboards, they all have that option where you choose different sounds in this menu here. And you have a lot of different options, which I'll show you next. We're going to go to keyboard. So I'm going to go back to my plus sign, add yet another track. And I'm going to skip world instruments, although they are really fun. Lots of really fun sounds in world instruments. But let's go to uh, keys. We'll come back to drums. Don't worry. I know you all are wanting to see the drums. So here's the keyboard. So I'm going to click Smart Piano to start. So you see a similar layout. And so you'll see a somewhat familiar layout, the chord strips down below with the chord names, G, C, F. Let's add our last track. And let's get some drums in here. So notice I hit the plus sign again, I'm back to my menu. And I just swiped to drums. And again, feel free to pause or rewind this video at any time uh, if you get lost so you can catch up. So I, uh, for this video, there's tons of drum sounds. I'm just going to click acoustic drums, though, just to show you one. 
So this looks like an acoustic drum set. You've got your kick down here. To the left, you've got your snare. Kind of staples of drums right there, your kick and your snare. This is called your hi-hat. These are your uh, crash cymbals and ride cymbals. And your toms. So that's an acoustic drum kit. You click where it says SoCal, which stands for Southern California. They're calling this a Southern California kit, but they abbreviated it SoCal. If you hit that, now you have all your selection of different drums. So you can go to electronic, which is really fun. Let's do big room. Now the pad changes to an electronic layout like you'd have on drum pads. So tons of variety of drums. So I think that's it for this video. I think that's more than enough. Um, but if you watch this video, maybe watch it a couple times if you'd like, pause and rewind as you need again. Um, but this should give you a good idea on how to navigate and load up your song with all the different tracks you want using as many sounds as you'd like. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll be back next week and we'll dive deeper into GarageBand on your iPad. Thanks so much. Bow, 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 bow,